In this video we're going to show how to take an equation that is not set up looking like y equals mx plus b and we're going to rewrite it so that we can graph it. So what if we were given 2x plus y equals negative 3? What would you do to this? Well you want it to look like y equals y equals mx plus b. That's our goal state. So we essentially need to solve for y. We're going to subtract 2x from both sides. And again, since our goal state is going to have the x term on the left, when I rewrite this right hand term, I'm going to write the negative 2x first. And then I'm going to write the negative 3. And this is okay because of the commutative property. And so now I've solved for y. y equals negative 2x uh, minus 3. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, if I can get my tools, okay, and I'm going to bring up a graph that's all ready for us to, uh, to use. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make some points on this graph. Uh, we're going to start with the y-intercept, which is 3. So I'll put a, a nice dot right there. And then I'm going to count increments of my slope, which is negative 2. And another way of writing that is negative 2 over 1. So I'm going to rise negative 2, go down 2, and then run 1. Put another dot. Rise negative 2, run 1, and I can keep going like this. I've got a nice big graph, so I can do this multiple times. I can also do the reverse. The slope is also 2 over negative 1. So I can rise 2 and run to the left one. And again, I can repeat this several times. Rise 2, run 1 to the left. Now that I've plotted a bunch of points, I just need to connect them with a line. So this line is going to be uh, approximate. It's not quite perfect, but I think you get the idea. There. That's a pretty good line. And this is the graph of 2x plus y equals negative 3. So let's uh, clean everything up and we'll try another problem. So we're going to try y minus 3 equals 0. Again, my goal is to have it look like y equals mx plus b. How do we make it look like that? Well, we're going to solve for y, so we're going to add 3 to both sides, and this will look like y equals 3. Well, here's the question. Where did the x term go? Or where is the x term? Where should it be? Well, if you don't see an x term, that means that m is 0. This can be rewritten y equals 0x plus 3. And this equation can be graphed very simply. If you just use what we know about slope-intercept, we have the y-intercept is 3, and my slope is 0, which means I rise 0, and I run as many spaces as I want. I can run to the right, or I can run to the left. Remember, if our slope is 0, you can write any fraction that equals 0. 0 divided by 5, which means rise 0, run to the right 5. I could write 0 over negative 2. I can make up just about anything. So I essentially will have a horizontal line. Let's see if I can graph this here. Mm, that's pretty close. Adjust a little bit. And there's our line. A horizontal line at y equals 3. Let's try a third example. Oops. I'm going to get rid of my graph paper. Let's delete all this. And let's try this example. This one looks kind of messy because there's more things for us to do. But ultimately, we want it to look like y equals mx plus b. So we want, it, we want y by itself. So one of the first things I'm going to do is I want to get rid of this 2x by subtracting 2x from both sides. I also want to get rid of the 5 by subtracting 5 from both sides. So what do I end up with on the left? Negative 2y equals 0 minus 2x minus 5 is just minus 2x minus 5, or a negative 2x minus 5. And now what do I do to this equation? 
Well, to get rid of this negative 2, which is multiplied by y, I'm going to divide by negative 2. So I'm going to divide everything by negative 2. And this is very important. A lot of students, they kind of forget to divide everything. They want to pick and choose. And uh, uh, the final equation is going to be y equals negative 2x over 2 is just plain x. And then minus 5 over negative 2 is a plus 5 halves. Now since we're going to be graphing this, 5 halves might be good for a slope, but this is the y-intercept. So 5 halves, I want to really, or I want to rewrite as 2 and a half. 2 goes into 5 2 times with 1 left over. So this is 2 and a half. So this is my new uh, equation. And what's the slope? Well, the slope is 1. And I can actually write that 1 over 1 if I want to. So what would this graph look like? Again, it's pretty straightforward. I'm going to go to my y-intercept of 2 and a half. So I'm going to come up to 2 and a half. This is going, not going to be a perfect graph because it's kind of hard to count increments of this. And my slope is 1 over 1. Rise 1, run 1. Rise one, run one. In other words, it's going to be like a 45 degree stair step. Rise one, run one. Or I could rise negative one, run negative one. And lastly, I'm going to put a nice line in here. So my line will look something like that. Okay?